Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for watching my video and do all that good YouTube stuff. Share it, like it, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, subscribe, all the things that you do. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video and saving some money perhaps. I also invite you to check out the links in the description for some long-term savings with the stock market. And uh, 2004 Ford Fusion CV axle replacement. Jack the vehicle up, use safety stands, protect yourself. You can jack it up in the front if you want, probably right here. Otherwise, we're on the pinch weld right now with our hoist. Some good metal right there, so jack it up, use safety stands, protect yourself. And uh, we're gonna do this. This is the passenger side. We'll be taking off these two nuts, driving out the lower ball joints. There seem to be two of them. Great setup, JK. And we'll take this nut off right here and then we'll be uh, hopefully swinging this whole thing up and out of the way break the lug nuts loose a turn or two everything is going to be left to loosen right to tighten so break the lug nuts loose a turn or two then jack up the vehicle and put your safety stands in then you take the tire off the rest of the way 19 millimeter lug nuts most likely and then you'll see this. I'll be using a one and a quarter socket on this. You can stick a screwdriver in the veins on either side depending on if you're loosening or tightening the bolt nut. So if you're just using hand tools you can do that. 23 millimeters is actually the best fit for the two lower nuts. usually pound on these this is actually maybe not aluminum pound on these and separate this but I do have a version here of a ball joint separator it's not a great fit but I'm gonna give it a shot otherwise out, in, out on your driveway you don't have much of a choice but you have to bang on these to vibrate them and set up, separate them so that's what we'll be doing here we'll see if we can get this tool to work You can see it's not really like a tapered ball joint, it's a lot straighter. So be aware of that. Also, you don't want to be hitting these threads and dinging them with your hammer, so be careful of that as well. Put a nut on it when you're banging on it. See if we can get a grip on this one. This one is going to be tougher though, or near impossible because of the setup. So here we go. So I'm going to use my air hammer and drive this one through. Now there is a hex maybe a eight or ten millimeter because you're gonna need to use that to turn the nut on perhaps so you don't want to damage that so no damaging threads and no damaging the bottom there so be aware of that The air hammer is truly going to be your friend, otherwise you're going to be using a punch and a large hammer laying on the ground, I'm believing, so there we are. So this should separate right in here. We'll be using a pry bar and a hammer and punching right here and knocking this off. It should separate from this because that's all I got. coming out we got to separate the uh, knuckle though from the uh, drive line to let it uh, come all the way out bungee cord is an excellent third hand
Oh, let's see if this will come out of here. Maybe it won't fit through there. I didn't read all the instructions actually. We'll see. I'm probably going to put a little anti-seize on this so in the future I wouldn't have any more problems even though I probably won't do it again. Let's get a little retaining C-clip on here. So I'd like to maybe pack the groove with some grease so it helps center it. We'll try and spin it around with our fingers and jam some grease in there maybe. So we're gonna want that centered. There's a gap right there. So when you find the gap, you can just put some grease in it and spin it and spin it. So we want this centered and then it'll collapse when we force on the CV axle. So that's going to be the idea. <clears throat> we'll feed the CV axle in and give it a few good pushes and hopefully it'll snap on that snap ring. There could actually be a little bit of rust buildup or something in here. So you may want to take the time to do a little cleaning in here. Uh, just clean things up to make it a little easier to get the CV axle back in. It's probably going to be a bear.
They read the destructions and they're still just as easy as uh, install those and then tighten the nuts. Just do it. The problem is, did you get swapped? <laughs> Finally, getting them installed. Man, what a pain in the butt. Hopefully you saw enough on this video. Made a lot of editing, but uh, getting it in straight is very important. You know, all I could do is tap it from the top for myself. Hopefully yours will fall in, but mine were not. So I'm gonna torque these things down. 148 foot pounds is what they want on that. I got my 140 pound torque stick for tires. I'm going to use that and then I can double it up with a torque wrench. Torque that to 185 foot pounds. We'll use the screwdriver tip. They do not want the vehicle on the ground when you're torquing that. They want us to stake the uh, stake this in the slot. There's a slot in the axle. Eighty foot pounds for that. Ninety eight for foot pounds for the wheels. Tighten them in a crisscross pattern. Tighten them as tight as you can while the vehicle's off the ground, then to put the tire so it's touching the ground but not full weight, and then torque them down to your torque specs. Passenger side CV axle replacement, 2004 Ford Fusion and other model years. If your ball joints 
look like this. It looks like your vehicle. This is the video for you. Good luck.